Hey, good morning. This is Adam with Farm Life Outfitters. Today I wanted to share about our organic tomato fertilizer. First, I wanted to start by just talking about our uh, garden soil. Um, for the past three to four years, we have uh, invested into our garden soil. We've invested time, labor, and money um, into our garden. Um, every fall, we, we rake up our leaves and uh, we use our lawn sweeper to clean up our yard and our neighbor's yard. And uh, we get leaves from the local town and we bring them and we just pile them up in the garden and we put the chickens in there and put them to work. They uh, scratch through all the leaves and clean up all the bugs and the trash and the seeds and all that good stuff. So we've been doing that for three years and this year we finally got some really rich black looking topsoil from doing all that. And so one of our main goals with our garden is that the soil will get better every year. Um, instead of depleting the soil and taking nutrients from it, we're actually adding to the soil by what we're doing. It, it, our, our garden spot will get better every year. Um, so you can see that in the earthworms. That's a huge indication of healthy soils is the amount and the size of earthworms. Um, we also make our own compost on site. So we put all of our kitchen scraps, our vegetable scraps, our garden waste, um, any dead animals go into the compost um, and also leaves. So uh, you got to have quite a bit of carbon. So leaves, wood chips, sawdust, all that goes into the compost. And we apply that to our garden every year. But anyway, I just wanted to show you a little bit about um, our fertilizer for our tomatoes. Um, for the past three years of our garden, I really haven't um, focused on fertilizer. Like I haven't really applied anything. Um, I did apply some, some lime to our garden, but as far as fertilizer, I didn't do anything. I kind of had a hands-off approach and just expected the compost to provide all the nutrients. But this year I, I got a soil test, uh, which indicated I needed some nitrogen. Uh, not much, it was five pounds per like thousand feet thousand square feet um, but for tomatoes I wanted um, a high phosphorus and high potassium fertilizer so that um, we would get good fruit and so let me show you what I'm using all right so the base of our fertilizer is this uh, Harmony Ag it's uh, mainly organic chicken manure um, it has a ratio of five parts nitrogen four parts phosphorus and three parts um, potassium but that's our base um, we have uh, we put about 50 pounds uh, in this mix uh, next is uh, dried blood meal which adds a nitrogen boost so if I remember I think it's uh, about 13 parts nitrogen and zero phosphorus and zero potassium so for our potassium needs, uh, one item we use is uh, sulfate of potash, which is a, a slow release source of potassium. It's a granular, like a rock. Um, and we probably put about uh, 20 pounds uh, per mix. The next product we use is uh, green sand. So green sand is a a good source of trace minerals and uh, it also has some potassium. Uh, for phosphorus we use um, granulated bone meal which adds phosphorus for us. And then for quick release potassium we use this organic water soluble uh, sulfate of potash. <coughs> 
and then we also have a little bit of uh, Epsom salt. <coughs> so uh, tomatoes need uh, uh, nitrogen for plant growth and leaf growth. They need uh, phosphorus for flower development and blossoms and they need potassium uh, mainly for fruit production but uh, it helps with um, flower development as well. <coughs> I'm also using um, liquid molasses so when I planted the, the uh, plants I mixed molasses and water and poured some in the hole and then I sprayed the plants once with uh, a molasses solution. All of this fertilizer comes from uh, Seven Springs Farm up in Virginia. I'll leave a, a link down in the description to their website. We've also had to spray uh, some of our plants with an organic neem oil and uh, some basic H soap, which uh, should kill off any aphids. We had, we've had some of our plants, I would say about a third of our plants have had uh, aphids on them. And so we sprayed them once for that uh, to, cut, to control the aphids. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about application uh, amounts and timing. Um, so I have over 600 plants out here and so I don't have time to measure for each plant. Um, I've done three separate uh, applications, uh, one full wheelbarrow each time. So if I had to guess, there's probably uh, roughly half a cup per plant. I would say half a cup to a cup per plant. Um, but as you saw, I just go down the row and sprinkle it down the entire row. Um, so you do it once at planting. Um, I just dug holes and put it in the hole um, and then I did did it once uh, probably two weeks after planting and then I did it today after fruit set so um, timing uh, we have had uh, probably 10 inches of rain this week and so this stuff is expensive um, it's it's been the the most expensive part of this uh, project it was the fertilize um, so I didn't want to put it out prior to the rain because it uh, could all wash away. And so today um, it's pretty dry. I mean, the ground's still moist and so, um, and they're not calling for rain for a few days. So I'm going to put it down and then I'll cover it up, which will help, help it to stay in place and help the, the plants go ahead and start taking up those nutrients. Well, I hope you all have enjoyed today's uh, video. I hope you learned a little something. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, um, leave them in the comments below and uh, let me know what you're growing and, and how you're growing it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.